Ah. What's good, everybody? It's your favorite host, Adrian Nice. We out here in LA, BT Awards weekend. Who am I here with right now? Scott Morris, Cup Daddy Slim, the guy that just puts in the work. Scott in the building. What up? I'm sure y'all know this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga be everywhere, goddamn. How you feeling? He be everywhere too, though. Uh, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. You know what I'm, saying? Oh, I'm good, man. Just working, excited. Cali is always beautiful. You know what I'm saying? The women are beautiful. The music is beautiful. The events is dope. You can meet tons of people if you're willing to work. So now, you... Let's... Okay. Brief overview of what you do. All right. I, um, I throw shows, events, tours, concerts, uh, mixers. Right now, we got a tour run. He's one of the artists you're going to interview, too. But um, we do a lot of, like, situations to set up people with whatever we can to help. So, but... To sum it up, artist development, touring, uh, public relations a little bit, event planning and promotion. And so one thing about your tour that I do notice is like a lot of people try to do tours, but like you actually are bringing artists to like the biggest events. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the thing is, I feel that's important, right? Because it's like, look, we're in an age right now where everybody understands like, yes, we've got to be more businesses. Advertise, 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 right? So now after we advertise online digitally, let's say you don't go viral. You're not supposed to meet people. You're not supposed to shake hands. You're not supposed to be in the right spot. We're right. supposed to. That's what we're supposed to do. So I feel like it's important to bring the way they need to be brought. So look, man, what's the sauce? What's the sauce? Give it a, how you be getting in these goddamn places? And then, yeah, how, how do you make it happen? I just support and shake hands. You know what I'm saying? So you support and what? Support and shake hands. If you support people, they're going to support you. And if you shake hands and figure out who to talk to, over with time, you'll be able to figure out how to get in the right rooms. And people like stories. So if you start at A, they want to see you get to B. People fall in love with stories all the time. So just stay consistent. That's hard. And so has it always been like that? Or was it extremely hard to get into these places? Like, were there gatekeepers? Were there, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, it's always going to be a gatekeeper at different levels. That's never going to change. Right. It's just more about once we understand that, now what do we do? Do we cry about it? Do we work harder? Do we figure out how to make more money? Do we figure out who to get cool with? Every problem has a solution. You just got to figure out what's the solution you're providing. Uh, I fucks with that. And so, yes, it's BT Awards weekend. What's kind of some events you got going on? What do you have set up while you're out here? Uh, we got two shows, and I'm, and I'm running the artists through interviews. So, like, uh, the artists, I got, like, six, yeah, eight artists with me for this run. So I got them set up with a couple like press runs, got them attending some events and I'm um, introducing them to people. Uh, they performed yesterday, last night I had them in front of um, some people that work at Rock Nation, uh, iHeart and 300 last night. And then I brought out some special guests yesterday. Tomorrow they are meeting Sean Barron and Sean Barron is an industry executive that's a legend. Him and Ty Dolla and I work together to do a lot of major stuff. So. The artists get to meet Sean Barron tomorrow and my homie Deja from Power 106. So just try to get them in front of the right people, man. And so you, um, you manage to or no or so what artists do you manage right now? Uh, so right now I am doing tour management for Mia Snow, right? Um, I manage this kid named um, Young Nostra, who's a dope producer as well. Like we got a couple placements on um, Mia's next project. But other than that, like um, I'm always open to working with people. Sometimes it'll be tour management. Sometimes it'll be for a couple months. It's just whatever makes sense. We figure it out. But right now, the main person that I'm um, moving is uh, Mia Snow. So, uh, what I guess, like, what stood out about her? Um, Cause I'm sure a lot of artists be like, manage me. Loyalty. Um. So the thing that's cool with Mia is like she has the charisma. Like my boy found her, Nate. That's my brother. So anything he supports, I'm more than likely gonna support. But what was important to me was her loyalty, because the way it is, we can build you up, we can work with you. Uh, some artists will be loyal, some artists will be disloyal. I like loyalty. That's just me. So I like that she was loyal. I like that she worked hard. Uh, I like that she could be a last minute play. She don't get up and grind. She wants it. I can't. I can't teach you how to go for it. You know what I'm you can't want it more than them. You can't. Either you want it or you don't. She want it. So, and I admire that about her. Uh -huh. So, like, um, I guess, like, with your deal with her, you know, however you're working her, what are some things that you um, assist her with, or like, how have you helped her grow? Or uh, so, I set up a lot of the interviews. Uh, I set up the tours. I do her release party alongside with Nate. 
Um, we've been building some data together so we could do email blasts. Um, I'm with her a lot of the time, so it's just anything that's needed to assist with. But a lot of the press, touring, um, I got her, her magazine covered. I got her on the radar. So um, I was able to bring her to some major labels so that she could be introduced to the people at the label. So. Nah, that's hard. Uh, it definitely says a lot because I know you work hard, so I know you wouldn't just be like, pick anybody, you know what I'm saying? Because you're around artists all the fucking time. <laughs> Um, so what's next for you? Where's the next stop or what's the next event? Um, next week we got Essence Fest. We got two shows in New Orleans. Then after that I got a Florida run. And after that, and that's in July. Then um, August we're doing Bay Summit for the first time in Portland. So I'm bringing some labels to Portland. Um, then we're doing Bay Summit Carolina at the end of August. So we're bringing some labels out there. And then we're gearing up in September for our Midwest tour. So we're going to hit all the states in the Midwest. Let's briefly talk about Day's Summit. What is it? What made you, so originally, yeah, what is it? Let's start here. Bay Summit was inspired by South by South and A3C. I really love the impact it thought it was going to make. So I really understand that artists need the opportunity to connect. And the cities need something that's going to help boost the economy. So I feel like with Bay Summit, in a couple of years, we'll be able to do larger concerts, more panels that are informational of all topics, and just really help people grow as business professionals and business, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because you're an artist, don't mean you can't own a Starbucks or you can't own a McDonald's. Or just because you are a songwriter, don't mean you can't create your own label. I want when you come in the days, you to be better than when you started. And so originally it started in New York. What um, inspired you to take it on tour? Because not even South by Southwest, you know, brings it to different places. I want it to be different. With anything that I do, I always want to be impactful and create monumental um, things. So I just figured it's a need in every place you go. Dallas, Portland, so many different people who deserve looks. Charlotte? Yeah, I love Charlotte and, and I love and I love Raleigh. North Carolina been good to me, they show me a lot of support. So I just really want to give back to the places that believe in me. Every time I go to Portland, they believe in me. Every time I go to North Carolina, they believe in me. So I just figured if I got resources I could pour into the community, I'm going to do that because they believe in me. Shout out to all my partners. And then the first one we're doing is our Essence Fest, um, New Orleans. So I got Pandora coming out there for those artists. That's hard. That's big. Just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like a goddamn snowball effect, bro. That shit's hard. That's dope. All right. Any last words you want to say? And then just give them like your social media or how they can contact you if they want to hop on a tour, get involved with whatever you got going on. Um, look out for our brand new website. For more bookings agency, uh, we're gonna be doing vlogs. We're gonna be doing mixtapes and a whole bunch of stuff. Now that we finally got the website, um, now that I got the website, we're gonna be doing concerts again. So look for bigger things and for me to return for my parties. So I would like y'all all to come. And Life Invest Morris is the page. We're always here for the community, and I hope everybody can get successful. And just spell it out real quick so we can make sure. Life of S M O R R I S and make sure you get an interview by him. Amazing, incredible. I seen him from when he first started and he keeps getting bigger because he wants to be successful. You gotta want it. You don't want it, you ain't getting it. All right, guys, make sure y'all tap in with him. Appreciate y'all. Adrian Nice Mouth and we are out. Peace. <laughs>